This is a crash course on Copilot. Earlier, Copilot was available only for few customers, but now it's available for everyone. Here, the assumption is you already have procured Copilot and it's already installed and configured. Now, how do you go about using it? Because Copilot is not one app. It works across all these apps. And in order to get benefit from it, you have to understand how to use it in each of these places. And that's what we do in this crash course. Let's start with PowerPoint. I have a blank presentation and I'm going to give a requirement saying add an image which looks like this. It also added it to a proper PowerPoint slide and created a layout. If you don't want that, just copy the image, paste it somewhere else and go to reset image and size. That's it. Now one word of caution. Whenever you are working on Copilot related stuff, it's new, it's evolving, you are learning it. So always create a blank new file and work on it. If you have to work on existing data, make a copy and work on it. Because if something goes wrong, we don't want production activity to be suffering. The next one is Microsoft 365 chat. It's a really powerful tool and this is genuinely good use of AI in an integrated manner. Earlier, I have covered how search has been revolutionized by M365 search because it cuts across all kinds of content. Now, imagine that same universality with generative AI. For example, if I want to see all my mails and summarize them quickly without even opening Outlook, it's possible here. I can give what kind of mails, the time frame, and it will give me a nice summary. This is genuine value add and time saving. Teams meetings have just got revolutionized with AI. Meeting means lot of content, lot of discussion, lot of collaterals, action items, follow-ups. So with multiple people, multiple meetings, multiple topics, it's practically impossible for anybody to have a clear idea about exactly what happened, unless you put time. And that is the problem which has been absolutely beautifully addressed by both these features. So here is a meeting which happened recently. Yes, you have to record the meeting, only then it gives data to work on. It shows me that there are three people involved in the meeting. It is giving me a chart of who spoke when. Look at that. That itself is amazing piece of information and it's not just a chart. If I want to know who said what exactly at that time, I click on it and it plays from there. Amazing. Not only that, of course, I get a transcript which is searchable and all that, but wait. There are keywords, there are mentions. So the same content is intelligently repurposed to give you maximum clarity with minimum effort. But that's not all. There's a co-pilot button. So now this comes out of the box. Very good. But I want to know overall in that, what did this guy want and did Dr. Nathan deliver whatever he wanted? So this is the output. It's absolutely mind-boggling that in few seconds, it was able to manage understanding a half an hour meeting and give precise information about it. Whether you are a senior person or a junior person, this is called revolution. Finally, for all meetings, we need action points. I have already got a separate video on how to manage meetings better. Have a look at it. So, but suppose you have not written down all action points or you forgot. Well, no problem. Copilot will go through the meeting details and give you action items as well. And as you know, Outlook or email is not going to go away from your life ever. I think by now you have realized that. But why not make use of AI and improve the email communication quality? I have already written a mailer about a training program, but I want to check, can I make it better? I'm not asking Copilot to write it. I have written it. So Copilot has an option called Coaching with Copilot. It goes through your content, looks for tone, looks for reader sentiment and clarity and gives you suggestions. This is the right way to use AI. Not just dumb down a user who has a brain, but improve the quality of your output by coaching you as to what you did correctly and what you did wrong. Now let's go over to Word. It can create Word documents from scratch, but it shines when uh, you give it existing data and ask it to make something intelligent out of it. Here is a fairly complex example. I have a PowerPoint presentation, which is our quarterly or yearly goals. And then I have another proposal which has come for a partnership or a tie-up with another company. Now I want Copilot 
to look at our goals and then look at a completely unrelated document which is much longer than these bulleted list of goals put two and two together and tell me is this proposal aligned with the goals and look at the output how intelligently it has listed the methodology shown the alignment or the lack of it and even suggested action items there is a list of what you can do it's not a feature list it's just a starting point it's called a copilot lab so if you go to copilot click on this button and then say more and then it will open a separate thing called copilot lab this gives you different prompts i am not asking you to try out all the prompts but absolutely you must at least read all of them because that's what will give you ideas saying oh i didn't know copilot can do that i will use it here so that mapping is very important once you start doing it over a period of time i am sure you'll get proficient at it and copilot is also evolving so keep looking at microsoft site to check whether anything new has been added recently i have intentionally not covered excel in this video because excel is a different ball game and i'll have a separate video for that so to summarize copilot is your best friend who is very intelligent has world wide knowledge but you need to guide it so you are the pilot and you have to use the copilot to your advantage i have many more videos related to copilot have a look at it and if you want more videos on specific topics do let me know in comments so that's it see you next time take care